So it's a really good time to be working in AR at the moment. The folks over at Unity have just come out with a AR interface. Well, they haven't technically come out with it. They're still working on it. It's an in experimental stage. You know, they say like don't don't like don't rely on you know anything uh, not not changing because it most definitely will be iterated over and and improved upon. Um, as it moves on, but what it's essentially doing is it's taking AR Kit, AR Core, bringing them together. You could say it unites them, <laughs> um, yeah, and it sort of uh, it makes it very easy us to work with it. It means that we can we can uh, write to this one API, and and it doesn't matter whether we're going to iPhone or Android, and it's just gonna um, it's gonna work very well. I'm gonna I'm gonna really encourage you to watch if you haven't already this this YouTube video. About um, about the API, about what they've been what they've been working on, and also also um, kind of how it, how it fits in with our kit and our core, and what it's what it's um, what it's got on top of our kit and our core, and yeah. So let's let's go ahead and go into that. I guess there's also wanted to show you the um, just before I do some drawing this this uh, um, uh, GitHub page. And this GitHub page, it's kind of got, it's got, it's, it's going, uh, this is where our AR, AR interface is living at the moment. So you can just go ahead and download it. And it's got, um, it's got a few, a few, a few really interesting, really interesting um, uh, topics that it brings up. Um, uh, one of them being the remote. So, so we've had for AR Kit for a while, we've had the AR Kit remote, but we've been like, oh, if you're in AR Core, you've got to build every time. No longer, all right. This AR interface is really solving that. So now we can. We've got a remote for AR Core as well as AR Kit. In fact, it's the same. It's the same remote, so it just makes it very easy to work with. Uh, we, we've also got. We've also got a really, a really elegant way of scaling. If you've worked with um, scaling content, say if you're using like physics or particle systems, you might get some really unexpected behavior, and and this is addressing that using um little uh. I suppose you call them camera tricks, and yeah, a few, a few, a few clever ideas. And and the other, the other thing, the other thing they've been working on is is a, a nice way of getting networking going. So yeah, it'll be great for us to look in, look into all that, and and have a have a muck around with it. Now, I guess I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna draw this out, see if I can explain this well. So we got we got AR Kit, right? Okay, AR Kit. We got AR Core. Now, AR interface, it kind of, um, it kind of, it kind of sits on top of AR Kit, or it sits, it it talks to AR Kit and AR Core. So let's say, for example, uh, we have AR Kit. AR Kit requires Xcode, which means to use AR Kit, AR interface, you still need Xcode, you know. Or AR Core requires the Android SDK. And the Java, the Java development kit. You're still going to need all of those things in order to work with AR interface. Now, if you download, if you download AR interface from from the from the the GitHub, it does come with the AR kit and AR core uh, SDKs inside of it. You know, so so we don't need to, we don't need to go and find those ourselves. But we still need to understand. You know, we still got to change our player settings. All these other things that we've been doing when we build for AR Core and AR Kit, uh, we're still going to need a, you know, all, all those project settings, that sort of thing. We're still going to address those. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I guess that's pretty much that's pretty much what um what this just kind of overview is about. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. Let's just have a look at setting it up, and then have a look at getting the remote going. Um, it, it maybe even see if we can start playing with some scales, some demos, and that sort of thing. And yeah, just go from there.